Hello, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. <sighs> Can you see my sweet little girl in the back? Lily. I, uh, I am fixing to drop her off at her grooming appointment. I am in Dixon because that is the closest place someone will groom a standard poodle. Also, I am so anxious right now not pathologically anxious situationally anxious because we have a huge trip coming up with two littles there's a lot of moving parts when you travel with two kids as i'm sure most of you know but this isn't like just a once on the plane we're there kind of situation we have to go to nashville stay the night because ken has a book signing on the same day that we get on a plane to fly to Houston. When we get to Houston, we are checking into a hotel there. Then we are doing a dinner that um, is for all the people going on the low carb cruise. So we have a dinner. Then the next day, we pack up all of our things again to get on a cruise ship. First, we have to get on a bus with all our things. Make sure we have all the moving parts and all the children get on the bus and, and, and ride to Galveston where we're going to get all our stuff again and get on the cruise ship. Hopefully all this goes well. But I am so stressed out about this. I am just also have not been sleeping well. But, and part of that is because Bonnie just doesn't want to go to sleep um, or take naps. And part of that is just me over analyzing things and wanting things to go as perfectly as possible. Plane ride, not a problem. My children, knock on wood, do very well on airplanes so far. Uh, you know, that could change at any moment. But So, yeah, but that's not the end of the fun. So once we get back from the cruise, we get on a plane in Houston. Then we fly to San Antonio where we're going to spend some more time with my family. We're gonna stay there a few days, then get on another plane, then come back to Nashville, then home. But this is all, I'm trying to not stress out. I really am, but it is not going well. Like how am I gonna take a week's worth of diapers on a cruise? I have to figure that out. Someone told me what to do and I've totally forgotten until this exact moment that I need to do, like there's a step I need to take to have diapers on this cruise ship that don't take up an entire suitcase. Oh my gosh. Anywho, that's what I'm dealing with. I have to go pick up dry cleaning today. I have a lot of things to do. I need to clean this car out. There's just junk as usual. And I need to start packing. She needs a haircut bad. This morning I let her out and she immediately went and ran into, I don't know what kind of mud puddle, but she's disgusting. So yay, yay for grooming. Cause she freaking needs that. Probably gonna go eat a Buffalo Wild Wings later. Anyways productive day. Hopefully struggling. Good girl. not necessarily disgusting it just has accumulated things in it that don't belong here because I was too lazy to get them out when I got back home uh, you know because the kids I got them out and I was like I'll come back and get this stuff and it never actually happened so yeah I'm fixing to fill up a trash can oh my god do you see that that's where Lily got her muddy paws all over my seat. Oh. Great. We are nice and clean now. Look at that. I vacuumed, vacuumed the car seats, wiped down everything. <laughs> Yay. Much better. This was pretty bad, actually. Once I got into cleaning, I was like, I'm just gonna deep clean this sucker. Why does cleaning always make me feel better? Like, if I'm ever stressed out, 
and I clean, I immediately feel better. Who else? Yes? You too? Cool. Also, I went to the tanning bed. I'm in Dixon. They have a suntan city here. It was actually free. <laughs> she didn't want to tell me that, but because I've never been there before, your first visit is free. But she was like, here's the package. Da, 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 da. And I was like, I just need one visit. I don't li live here. I'm just fixing to get on a cruise. I need one more visit. And she was like, oh, well, it's free. <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> so a tan for free and a stand-up bed. If you've ever been in one of those, it's like a spaceship. It's really weird. Anyways, now I'm set for the cruise. I got a good base tan. And I don't know how much longer I'm going to have to wait for Lily's groomer to be done with her. I kind of want to go eat something. I kind of don't want to get stuck in the middle of a restaurant, you know, if she's fixing to be done. So I dropped her off at 11 and it's now 12.20. She was pretty dirty. I bet they're not done with, I bet they're not close to being done with her yet. So I'm going to go to Buffalo Wild Wings, get me some flats, and then maybe they'll be done by the time I get done eating. It is now, what time is it? It's two o'clock. I dropped Lily off at 11. Hopefully in 30 minutes I can get the heck out of here and go home. So I have like a hundred things I should be doing today. get a copyright strike but I don't care it's worth it this is such a good song somebody's little girl So I did buy the Dyson Airstray and this is my second time using it. It looks much better than the first time. Of course, the first time was a learning curve. I didn't really know how to use it that well. It still did the job, but it didn't do it. It didn't look like this. This is so much better. It's nice and shiny. And it moves. Now, I don't know how to explain this to people who've never had this experience, but for people with really coarse hair when they straighten it it can sometimes defy gravity so when I held it out like this instead of falling like a waterfall it would just stick straight out like that instead of doing that and there was like none of that see how it moves around and it's bouncy and it's woo woo yeah that's not how my hair uh, looks when it's straight and when it's straightened with a so I think I have a GHD or a Paul Mitchell hair straightener. That's what I used to use before I got this. Um, and I can use lower heat. It just feels so soft. Like I can't stop 
touching it. Like, that is... Seriously. I'm not saying it's worth the money. I mean, that's up to you. I think that it does what it says it says it will do. It's obviously something you have to figure out on your own. Anyways, that's my experience. I'm actually obsessed with how my hair looks straight in real life. A lot of times my hair in, on camera when it's straight looks fine, but in real life it's like, you know, she has some really frizzy hair, but see, that is not frizzy. That looks good. I like it. Got a new box of carnivore crisp just in time. Bonnie wants some for the cruise. But look at this. Puppy bacon. Bonnie, just a minute. Discount code Barry. Yeah. Hang on, Toto. I got you. I got you, buddy. Puppy bacon. Yeah. I'm gonna bring you some bacon too. Relax. Buffalo chicken dip, chicken skins. I'm fixing to smash this so hard. In my face. Bonnie's eating cheese. <laughs>